Now let's move on to the uh, class uh, bus classification. Here, so please open a terminal on your host machine on the one two. Right. Once you have this is you can have please open one terminal. For you, you can just open one terminal and this is easy to see. Right. So we were we were at the slide eight. Right. Let's do string. This is a string in my work lab. Sample, echo bot, and name indicate is a bot which uh, which is uh, which uh, was it makes a bonnet. And here in sample, my weather is a string, my weather is a you see this is, has a lot of string and when I keep scrolling up, okay, I don't see everything on the one screen, right? Do you see the string result when you are, right? It's uh, too many, right? The result was many. So what you can do is redirect the output to slash temp and text. Here, see? String and they give the path and redirect the output and then put to the attempt ever what that gives you. And enter. Do you have that? Yes? All right. Then let's use G edit. And let's take a look at the uh, how the uh, text looks like. I just press G edit. You know what? Sorry about that. Let's Close the G edit. Let's open it with the ampersand. Here, G edit. This will gonna be the command. G edit temp echo bata txt. You got it. All right. Now, I want you to make the uh, basically the yard signature based on some of these uh, string. There's a lot of strings here, right? And what can be some unique? Then you can please look around and what can be the unique string? But uh, how, uh, how about you know for fun, search for the string that looks like a command, basically the botnet command. Now I see something here. So it, it looks very look. It is the IRC uh, botnet here. So the botnet that uh, waiting for the uh, command from the IRC channel. You see here and here, here, right? So I want you to make a yarn signature uh, using some of these strings here. And when you look at the page eight, once you have yarn signature, please save it as a dot yarn. Actually, the uh, extension doesn't matter, but we will make the detection dot yarn, and then we will run. Uh, the yara signature against the our but uh, sample, right? So I will just leave this one here. And how about from go back to the uh, uh, go back to your screen, and you can make the texture. I want you to be at the home directory here, and let's make a yara signature. 
by college edit detection dot yeah. Okay. Edit detection dot yeah. And enter. Right then we will. Do you have that one open? And have a rule that way. Let's say to the hover button. Right. And I want to include the uh, font size here. Right. We're going to read the string. Right. Now I want you to make. This is an example. So do not follow as it is. You will find this string. So I want you to actually look at the algebra string and then put it in uh, here, write uh, context. So you'll be looking at something like this. If you make exactly I here I have then the rule on the uh the Yara won't work. I just put it on what? Right, this is an example, but it's uh, not the example, this is the uh, template. Right? This is a template. So I want you to search the string out the string result and actually make some you know, Actual a proper looking the uh, Yara signature out of by looking at the uh, string here. Right. Let's uh, let's now uh, just uh, finish this Yara signature lab. Right. So here just one example. Right. One example and. It's just made out of the uh, strings here. So when you make the signature, just pick the unique enough, and, and you know which will not generate a lot of you know, false positive. And there's one example for here. So when you run like Yara and the uh, Yara signature, and if you give the uh, path, then you should be able to see the uh, the rule identifier you just uh, made made, right? So this was just very simple uh, example, but uh, in real life, again, it will be much more complex. The, the example we're gonna be, right? 